Hi guys! My kids and I love doing DIYs with melt and pour soap. Absolutely wish it's toilet by color. Good idea, Callie. There's something so satisfying about it. Whoa! This week we made these gorgeous terrazzo soaps. They look just like the ones you can buy in the store, but for a fraction of the cost and with just a few simple ingredients. All you'll need to get started is white melt and pour soap base, soap colorant, and a silicone mold. First, we're going to melt about a cup of our soap base. I love how easy it is to cut through. Put it in the microwave for about 30 seconds or until it's completely melted. And then pour it into your mold. This is what we're going to be using to create the chips in our terrazzo pattern. Now let's mix the colors. Make sure you stir it really well so that the color is uniform. You can experiment with mixing colors together. I like to add brown to create some earth tones. Once your colors are mixed, give them a quick spritz of alcohol to get rid of any bubbles. Then pop them in the fridge to harden. Our colors have hardened, and now we're gonna pop them out of the molds. I love this part. And now start cutting them up. They're so pretty, this kind of kills me. But it'll be worth it in the end. Very satisfying. You can cut them into different shapes and sizes, but it works best if they're approximately the same height. These are chopped to perfection. Now arrange them upright in the mold to create that terrazzo look. Now let's melt the rest of our base, which is about two cups. And I'm adding the Snickerdoodle scented oil, which my kids love. Once the soap is melted, let it cool back down to room temperature, and if it starts to solidify, just give it a quick stir. If you pour it when it's too hot, it could melt the pieces and the colors will bleed and we're finally ready to pour. Then pop them in the fridge for about 30 minutes to harden. Our soaps are ready, and now for the moment of truth, let's remove them from the mold. Did I mention I love this part? Oh wow, that looks so pretty. I made these bars really thick so that I could cut them in half. You'll see they look even more beautiful on the inside. I just love the way this terrazzo pattern looks on the soap. And they smell delicious. Mommy, this is a heart. Good idea, Callie. Okay, we don't really have a pattern going here. Yeah, we don't care because we just want all of us. We don't care, we don't care about a pattern? Uh -huh. Yeah. Are you my children? <laughs> yeah. DIY anarchy. It's gonna get a little messy, be careful. Okay, oh, oh, Calvin, okay. Hold okay. on. And as you can see, it's really hard to mess these up. The kids just threw a bunch of chunks in and they turned out adorable. They add a fun pop of color to your kitchen and make a great handmade gift. All right, guys, we had so much fun making our soap bars. Tell me in the comments below if you'd like to see more soap or bath time DIYs, and we'll see you next Friday. Bye, Bye guys! Bye.